Ciao guys and welcome back, it's your friend Luca and in today's video we're gonna compare four cheap and portable light diffusers for our video lights. I think this video can be really useful if you're working as a one-man band videographer and portability is an important factor for you. If you don't have much time to watch the full video comparison, let me tell you right away that in my opinion the big white umbrella is the best pick of the four. But if you would like to see how this light diffuser compares to the other three, stick until the end of the video. The big white umbrella is lightweight, it's portable, it takes just few minutes to assemble it and it doesn't take much space on the location. The quality of the light is very smooth already without the second layer of diffusion and this diffuser can be used for full body shots or if you have more talents in front of your camera. I really love the versatility and the quality of light that is coming out from this light diffuser and after I've tried many light modifiers I can easily recommend the big white umbrella as the definitive light modifiers for one man band videographers. The next light diffuser is the Aperture Dome Mini 2 that is a really small, portable and lightweight. It takes just few minutes to assemble it, but the light that is coming out from this diffuser is uh, pretty harsh and contrasty. I just use this softbox when I need heavy and moody images or for accent light to separate the subject from the background. I've been using these light modifiers in some previous videos I've made for YouTube and while I was recording those talking videos I always had the problem that my eyes got really tired after just few minutes of talking in front of the camera. So I really don't recommend to use this light modifier for talking at videos because uh, the talent is gonna suffer quite a lot. The third light diffuser is the big hexadecagon softbox. This is the first light diffuser I've bought, but I don't really love it. Even when it's folded, it takes a lot of space, it's heavy, it takes time to assemble it, and it takes a lot of space on the location. It produces a nice light, but it's not that versatile in case you need to film a full body or more than one person at the same time. The last light diffuser is the cheapest of the four, the small silver umbrella. This is a very compact and lightweight light diffuser, but it generates a pretty harsh and contrasty light. If you really have a low budget, I recommend you to buy a small umbrella with an internal white reflector, because uh, in that way the light is going to be much smoother and uh, softer. So one more time guys, I highly suggest you to consider a big white umbrella for your key light because they are extremely cheap, portable and easy to assemble. You don't have to look specifically for a brand over another but you should consider umbrellas that have an extra layer of light diffusers that you can put on top of your umbrella. So you're gonna have more variety in the type of light you want to bounce in your talent's face. So you can have a little bit more contrasty if you keep the umbrella as it is but you can make it even smoother if you put the second layer of diffusion cloth. If you have found this video helpful I will really appreciate a like in the video and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment area below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.